Becoming a member, T Sipper, thank you for becoming a member. Big 201, thank you for the five. It says, Yo, when we get in the Albial interview, man, tell Albial to pull up, man. Uh, praise 4G. Thank you for becoming a member. Trap Thoughts. It says, Jamie Foxx went live while Cowboy owners Jerry Jones was talking about the size of the player's manhood. No way. You're saying that. What? Jamie Foxx. Um, Jerry Jones. No way. Did he? Once again. Uh huh. Wait. Jamie Foxx that we don't know? Wow. And. I'm not too chill. We're full on. Okay. Nine and three inch hair. Eight and a half inch dick. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> no fucking way. Wait. Hey, that's pretty good right there. He shot balance. Five, nine and a half, two, ten. Five, nine, two, ten. Four, four, one. Okay. Nine and three inch head. Eight and a half inch dick. Mm -hmm. Hey, that's pretty good right there. He shot balance. He said eight and a half inch dick? Yo, I mean, I'm gonna keep it up being with you. They say the NFL and the NFL is usually on some, you know, some butt breaking type of type of activities. They're usually trying to uh, slave auction. You know, the NFL combine to me always looked like a slave auction. Like, let's get you stripped down to your tidy whities Let's look at the muscles. Let's let's see, you know, let's do the measurements. Let's see how fast you are. Let's see the genetics. Um, yeah, so I don't know if Jerry Jones is on some DD shit that he, that, you know, maybe he got a, a female he wants them to breed with, but he, 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 shit, this is some slave owner talk right here. 100%. Is, it, is this real or like maybe AI? Five, nine and a half, two, ten. Five, nine, two, ten. Four, four, one. Okay. Nine and three inch head. Eight and a half inch dick. <laughs> mm -hmm. What the fuck? This is why I believe that it. When I see all them rappers loving my uh, um um, what's that thing of name? Robert Kraft. Come on, bro. Like, one thing one thing I respect, I'm gonna be honest with you. When a when a nigga get old like Jerry Jones and shit like that, you realize them that type of racism, they just gotta die it out. Like it, you you can't get them niggas to change in the ninth inning. Not saying he hate niggas and nothing like that, but bro, this is a white man who's been a billionaire for a long time. Of course he talk about black men like this is an auction. Of course he talks about black men who essentially give away their bodies and their, you know, take years off of their lives taking hits that he could generate money in terms of entertainment for 80,000 people at a time. Of course he looks at them as nothing more than just statistics. Oh yeah, that's the guy who he runs a four four one. He's five nine. He's two hundred fifty pounds, and his dick is this long. Like I, I don't I don't know why that's uh, that's that's of his concern, but shit, he has the full stats that if in, in case he wants to breed one of these motherfuckers, I'm not that surprised. Hey, that's pretty good right there. He shot balance. Like, is us pretending that the majority of owners probably don't talk about black people when the cameras are off or the mics are off like Donald Sterling did? The majority of us 
being fooled to think, oh, no, like, they completely, like, just don't look at the players and don't look at African Americans as, as, you know, whatever. The way Donald Sterling fucked up, he got recorded by a side chick. And it's not even that he just, you know, he was basically almost talking about them like there was, you know, then why you got to show up to the game with one of these black motherfuckers, right? So I'm not that surprised, man. And also, here's the thing with football. A little racism ain't going to stop a motherfucking thing. You see, with basketball, it, it, it's all niggas that run that shit, right? Like, LeBron James is going to act like he's going to catch a fit. But trust and believe, whoever the top receiver is, is this a team that uh, some Negro named C.D. Lamb play for? C.D. Lamb. C.D. Yeah. Yeah, this nigga ain't going to miss a goddamn check. He don't give a fuck what that nigga say. I'm pretty sure his only objection is that, yo, Jerry, when you talk about me, just let him know I got that nine inch. You feel me? But he ain't missing a goddamn game. Fuck out of here. These NFL players, they know they, they know what time it is with their with their owner. Or or, or they um Yeah, the owner of the team. As long as their checks get, you know, um signed. First of all, I think the NFL of any league resembles slavery more than anything. They don't like giving you guarantee contracts. They could drop you at any time, cut you at any time, release you at any time. You you miss out on money. At least the at least the NFL, no, I mean at least the, N the NBA and the MLB kind of guarantees that money. But NFL, like as soon as like you're probably playing in pain all the time, your brain is like fucking going every single game, and the moment you can't produce as much anymore, they just drop you, kick rocks. Yeah, this what it is. All right, people, I'm finna get off of here, man. Finna get the fuck off on out of here, man. I appreciate all y'all, though. Trap Thoughts, thank you for the 10, though. Uh, uh, let me read the rest of these. Why? What's up with you, bro? Uh, Kumar, thank you for the 10. Says, Super Bowl happens in NOLA all the time. Not sure why this time is controversial. We forget. Well, it's only controversial because Jay-Z is making a choice, but you're right. Trap Thoughts says, Act, we need you in Boom stream one day. Hopefully, sooner than later. I miss those convos y'all used to have. You do, too. Don't lie. Um... Go Gog. He's thank you for the ten Canadians. Says there's a little way in this song trending right now. Go peep is this in Kendrick. It's definitely AI. Yeah. Billy Movado. He says yo about the Super Bowl. I think people are missing the point about the culture. In other words, we all know Lil Wayne should have been picked. David Johnson, the asshole. He says thank you, Ack. He clearly was D riding to the maximum. Bozo said if I call you for meat riding, that's when you know you gla you took glazing too far. Bozo, stop playing with me, bro. <laughs> Cast away. He says yo. Um, God was a slave by Castaway out now. I guess that's, that's some song he has. Um, David Johnson, thank you. Uh, Yosa Osawim says, Ak, I swear that's why I love the way Ye treated Jay, kept him in place, ran up his own bag. Um, Jared Godson says, Ak, I know you saw that Justin Bieber and Odell Beckham video from the uh, Diddy party. If Candace Owens has seen it, then you have. Yeah, we've seen we've seen Diddy and, and Justin. Um, somebody named Diddy sent two in and be like, "Yo, act, you gotta chill. We go, we gotta chill. What? We go way back. What? We don't go nowhere, nigga. The fuck? AC one thirty says, "Yo, no, I'm off topic, but I watch it for years. I'm an autistic rapper from SC. Was would love you to react to my song Blindfold when you have time. It'd mean a lot. Remind me next stream. Castaway, thank you for the ten. Says, shout out to the chat. I'm cash apping anyone who downloads God was a slave by Castaway. All right. Hopefully, cash apps out if you download it. David Johnson says, Karma is a bitch, but at least she's fair. Okay. Uh, Ill E. Rosen says, a woman will slam that that gay card down like the last spade and attempt to gain control of uh, disagreement. That is true. Castaway, thank you for the 10. Says, shout out to chat. He's still saying the same thing. We'll cash app if you have downloaded the song. Rough House says, Ayo, Ak, I think you should slide. Um, through World Star Hip Hop because they got wild videos about his Diddy stuff. I'll do it next time. Thank you, though. Billy Movado says, kind of random question. Why are Kendrick fans weird and always pushing a weird narrative? Hip Hop ain't keeping it real. Them niggas just need Kendrick to drop, bro. Cast Away, once again. Shouting out his song, God Was a Slave. Um, what's that song about, by the way? I'm talking about God Was a Slave. Uh, DeAndre Davis, thank you for the tenant, says, Act, this could be a reach, but... I, but I bet that Rihanna was part of the freak off back in the day. That's how she got the herpes and gave it to Breezy, allegedly. And that's why Breezy never messed with Diddy. Hmm. Savion G says, Kendrick 
could slap God in the face and, and, and Ken Dorks would say act is press. Yeah. All right. Oobzerk says, your man Drake is the one that got slapped into fetal position and show disconnected. Did he treat a Drake like Justin Bieber? Uh, Ernesto P says, uh, Puffy not doing nothing to the West Coast. Should call him a music video backup dancer and went on stage and he tucked his tail between his legs. Well, that's a different Diddy. Diddy was not as powerful as he is today. Uh, King Trayvon, thank you too, says, keep that same energy with Drake. Ascend Today says, thank you for the 20, by the way. So we got to protect act by any mean. Only media personality will say what we're all thinking. Only one that speaks his mind that isn't cloud chasing. The rest are penis gobblers. King Trayvon, by the way, thank you for that. King Trayvon, thank you for the five. It says, your goat got slapped. Be stop it, act. It's about Smoke.